good day everyone over the world welcome to today's tutorial on today's tutorial i will be showing you how to make your oil paint work i've been having so many complaints that my oil paint is not working i just want to show you what you need to do to make it work and i'll just we'll just quickly get into that straight so this is a design I did recently, so I'll be using it to test it. I'll first show you that mine is working perfectly. This is my paint. For older version, you can find your oil paint in, in the drop down menu like this somewhere here. But for mine, it's under stylized. So I'll just click, and this is my oil paint. You can see this is a preview, it's working. So it's working, I can increase it, I can increase it, it's working perfectly. So, this is just it, so it's working. So, sometimes we, I can do preview also, so it's affecting, showing here right now, so. I'll just click the OK and click there. So, use it. So I'll just go back and I'll go to my edit. I want to turn mine off so it won't work. So I'll take you through some process you could make it work back. So this is my graphic processor setting at my right hand corner. So most of you guys, why your look, let, let me just turn this off. So I'll press OK. Then we'll go back to this. We'll go back to see my oil paint is grayed out. Why? Because the graphic processor is not turned on is not being used so and once it's not being used oil paint cannot work probably your 3d won't even work let me see the photoshop 3d feature has been discontinued many 3d features are not working properly click the name more okay So I guess let me type something. Let me see maybe it will work. Okay, mine is still working. Even with the stuff turned off. So uh, some of some of you, your 3D is not even working. So I'm sorry, this will take time a little bit. So just kindly bear with me. It's been a long while. It's like I like I spoke on my video, so it's. It somehow feels awkward <laughs> when I'm happy to communicate with you guys. Finally, I just decided that this needed a yeah, this is what I'm saying. 3D feature required that use graphic processor is enabled in the performance prefer. Your video card must meet the minimum requirement and you may need to check that your driving your driver is working correctly. So that's what I'm saying. So once this thing is off, you can't even use your 3D. You get the idea, so so now listen to what I'm going to say you can use your 3d you can use your eye paint but there's something you can use I want to show you something so if you're if this thing is not your graphic processor is not 
turned on is under performance. Don't forget preference performance. If this is not turned on, then there is a feature that automatically that is automatically enabled. I will show you that feature. But it's not a replacement for air paint though. Is a liquefy your liquefy this thing. Your liquefy filter. Let me show you. This is your liquefy filter. I will show you something. Okay. My liquefy filter is working perfectly just like that. So this is my liquefy filter. I just want to show you that it's working. So you can do anything you want with the liquefy filter. But let me show you the trick. Is it a trick now? Let me just show you what's happening. But if this is on, click OK. Your liquefy probably won't work. Let's see. Yeah. It won't work. And Photoshop never didn't give us a warning that. And they didn't give us the reason why it's not working. It's just showing this. And when I zoom out, it goes, gets smaller and so on. So. It won't work, it won't show a preview. It's not that it does, it's not really working. It won't show any preview that will make it work on the image you're working on. So, too bad. So, once that is on, you can only do nothing with the liquefy. So, for you to use the liquefy filter, which is this. You must have to off your graphic processor. You must have to. Not that you will not use your graphic processor for it to use your liquefy. But you turning off your graphic processor, you not using your graphic processor means two things you know using your graphic processor means that you cannot use your you cannot use your oil paint cannot use your 3d so so what's the what's the message here so if you want to I'm still going somewhere, please. I'm going to show you for those of you who, even with the, probably even with your graphic processor, you even when you tick on your use graphic processor and yet your Photoshop oil paint is not still working, there's still a way out. And for those of you who your used graphic processor is not even active you can't click on use it because you probably don't have a dedicated graphics card there's still a way out so stay to the end of the video as i walk you gradually through this process so what we'll do next is we'll go back to our edits preference then we'll go to our performance now our performance will click on I use graphics processor. Most of you this place is grayed out because there is no graphic card detected. You understand? There is no graphic card detected. This is my graphic Intel RHD graphics 5500 Intel. So this is the graphic card I'm using. It came with this system it's in built. So and it's been updated 
on my Windows updates. So I'll just click OK. You can go to advanced, but nothing much. Just take this, take this, and probably leave this. Yeah, that it is all this way. So I'll click OK. And then my other paint should be back and working. Yeah, is it working perfectly? My 3D should be back working perfectly. But I don't want to click the 3D to take time to load, but trust me, it's back and working perfectly. Don't want to click this. So, I haven't said that if you're. Here's the solution here. If your hair paint is. grayed out and you don't and this part also is grayed out like you don't have a dedicated piston that with dedicated I say dedicated that with graphic card or let's say dedicated graphic card on your system It's obvious that you can't use oil paints. I'm sorry to say that, but you can use it because it needs a graphic card to work. You need a graphic processor to work. So the only advice I will advise you is that you get an IR system. Has the capacity capacity to run the oil paints? Please any graphic card, any system with a a good graphic card will do that. So I advise you to get it because there is no way. I, but there are some plugins out there that can really replace. I I remember those years I downloaded some a graphic card that. I see graphic. I downloaded an oil paint plugin for Photoshop. It was not really giving me this, but it was manageable. It was better than none. So, as in it, then when I was using a, an older system that couldn't support oil paints and 3D, so I was using that for a while. And it helped a little bit. But now I can't really recall the name of the plugin. But once I do, I will put a link in the description for you guys and pin the comments there to let you know that I've gotten the name. So, that is that for those of you. But some of you, your used graphic processor is turned on and everything is in check. And you go to filter and your eye paint is showing like this and you click and is not reflecting the paint is not reflecting the drag is not reflecting nothing is really showing it happens to me so that's what i'm telling you let me show you what i did so there are two things here is either you may tell me that you've been using it for some time like a week ago two weeks ago and it's working fine all of a sudden is not reflecting your you're using graphic processor is turned on your your eye paint is not grayed out and so but all of a sudden you just want to use it but it's not reflecting and all that so this is the solution the first thing i will tell you to do is close your photoshop like close this so i'll just close this design when I mean close, I mean close like this. So I'll just close this and just reopen. So most of the time, this does the trick. If your graphic processor is up to date, your graphic card is up to date, just close now. Reopening your Photoshop does the magic. So, but if after you close the Photoshop and 
you reopen and it doesn't it doesn't work then there is a second option which definitely will work yeah so as the our photoshop is trying to come up i don't know why it's taking time photoshop is coming up i'll show you what to do if that doesn't work <laughs> so what you do is what you do is you go to your windows updates check for updates yeah so you check for your updates okay, my photoshop is coming off so in that first restarting photoshop and switch turning photoshop off and restarting it doesn't work this should work so just go to check for updates my system is up to date so there's nothing make sure that your internet is connected you have a wifi and all spots that you are connected to so your windows will look for any update that is missing so most time we could tell you that okay everything is well intact but underneath it i wish that it can just talk so i can really show what i'm saying I'm just waiting for yeah. So we are back on. So that's what for it to load. That's good. So still check for updates. I don't know why. I just want to show you something. is taking longer than expected so if this doesn't work after you restart it and you just then go there and you click on all things and sorry you click on all things and yet it doesn't give you the effects and all that this is the next option please this is what i'm doing okay there's an update uh, so this is what i'm saying thank god for that the optional update this is where you come most of the time i tell you that everything is okay here yeah, or you may get some installation going on here yeah, or you download going on here yeah. but beneath this is where the magic is the optional updates you now go to driver updates see there is a driver to be updated so most of the time there will be a lineup and you just tick everything because that is where the graphic card update is also so you make sure that everything is updated click download and install i'll just do that and once you do this 100 percent it's going to work 100 percent like it's tested so after that just close your photoshop back and turn it on open it again and just try it so what's the lesson for this you can't use your graphic processor with your liquify it won't work so i've taught you guys two things if your liquify filter is not working it's probably because your graphic processor is being used that is being turned on that's why you are getting this kind of look on your liquify screen or and i say or then if your 
if your graphic if you want to use your liquify if you want to turn off your once you're not using your graphic processor processor card then your liquify your liquify filter will work perfectly so let me just turn it off again and okay i'll just go there we'll just click and it's working so that is just it but know that once your once you're not using a graphic processor you can't use your air paint your paint will be grayed out like so and your 3D also will be grayed out so i don't want to start eh? so that's all we can do for this class thank you see you guys tomorrow stay blessed yeah